So in this tutorial, we will going to learn how you can format the data within certain columns. Generally speaking, uh, you do not need to put all these values with the dollar signs. What we usually do is we only pick the first value in each line, uh, in each column, and then we change it to a dollar format. And then it automatically applies the commas and everything else. For the remaining values, we only apply the comma format. So when you look at this sheet, you look at the first value in any column and that's an indicator what is the unit of currency for all values in the column. So that's how we generally do it. Now the auto sum is done exactly the same as I've taught you before. Click in the cell right after the last value and this could be the last value in a column or last value in a row and you simply click on the auto sum. And then you press enter. As I did this across, I'm like, I, as I did it at the end of the column, I will also going to do it at the end of the row where the values end. Same deal. I click auto sum, it selects all the numeric values to its left and I press enter. So that's one easy simple way of adding all the values in a column or in a row. One more thing that I want to tell you over here is how you can apply auto fill to a formula. One of the great things about Excel is if I take my formula and I bring my mouse over it and I take it over to the next cell by using the auto fill icon and I keep going what it does it keeps applying the formula to every column but intelligently it keeps changing the column names so it knows that over here in this column I added C2 through C11 so when I autofill and move it to the next one it automatically adapts to D2 to D11 D11 and the third one it automatically adapts to E2 to E11 and I can do that across the columns or across the rows here I would like to do that across the rows so if I click here and I apply this, as you can see, it goes across the rows. As you can see, my formula it is changing. First, it was C2 through E2, then C3 through E3, and it goes all the way like that. So that is how you can apply autofill on formulas. We're going to continue with this example. We're going to learn about some more operations in the next tutorial. 